Hi boys and girls, welcome to Drawing 1-2 with Mrs. R. You may notice that the background is a little different because um, I'm recording now from my classroom, my kindergarten room. So background looks a little different. I'm in my class and not at home. So um, anyway, that's what's going on with the background. So today we are going to draw a clover um, and a rainbow, kind of a fun abstract drawing. So today you're going to need your crayons, a Sharpie, and a pencil, and of course your drawing paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and switch screens, and here we go. All right, so I have my paper. Um, it's hard to see on here, but I have it portrait, so the long way up and down, okay? So for our picture today, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, uh, instead of a four-leaf clover, we're going to draw a three-leaf clover. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a letter C like that, okay? So it's kind of on its side, and then you're going to touch that corner and you're going to draw another letter C like that. That's drawing, you know, drawing it the right way. And then a backwards letter C like that. And then come just a little bit more. And then you're going to come down like this on both sides and then draw that. Okay. All right. So then what you're going to do is you're going to have lines going from the top of your clover. See if I can turn the lights off so you can see it better. And just lines going like this, bands coming out from the top of the clover, just like this. So you're just gonna keep going around like that, just like you're making a rainbow, okay? All the way around till you get there. And then I'm gonna do, I think, one more up here at the top. And then I'm going to make some going the opposite direction. So I'm going to make some coming this way, going this direction. So that we have different rainbows coming different directions in the picture, okay? And then I'm going to make, come down here on this side and I'm going to make some lines going across this way, like I'm doing a rainbow going this direction now. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to make some lines going across like that. Pretty straightforward, but it's a little bit kind of abstract art. It's a little bit different than what we usually do. So if you need to pause the video or go back and rewind it, just feel free to do that. Our picture is very simple today, but we're going to add some bright colors to make it really pop. So after we've done our pencil marks, as we always do, we're going to go through and we're going to do our Sharpie lines. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace around my clover like this. And no big deal if you get off the lines because we're going to erase all of our pencil lines anyway because those are just a guide for us. Um, and some of you still may be working on your drawing, which is totally fine, no problem. And today I did not bring my scratch piece of paper, which was a big no-no. I have to be extra, extra careful. You know, normally Mrs. R says to have your scratch piece of paper to catch all those marks on the edge of your page. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful today not to get any pen on the table. It's one of the downsides of having a white table to do art on. Okay, so just going through and tracing, uh, doing the Sharpie marks just like we always do. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead 
and take my pencil and I'm going to erase all of my pencil marks. Just go over it real quick. Get all those pencil marks off because those are just guides. We don't need them anymore. And what I mean when I say guides is it just helps us to know where to put our Sharpie lines because really our Sharpie lines are what matter not the pencil lines. That's why we are racing them. Okay, so I'm just going all over my paper and erasing. Okay. All right, so after you have um, erased all your marks, you, now you got to get rid of all these erasers all these little marks too right make sure we get rid of all of those okay so then you're left with your clover and your sharpie lines now at this point if you're still doing your sharpie lines if you're still doing your drawing in pencil that's totally fine um, just go ahead and press pause anytime that you need to um, to stop the video so that you don't get too far behind okay so at this point, I am ready to start coloring in my picture. So I'm going to pick a dark green color crayon for my shamrock. And let's see if that helps. Okay, so I'm going to color really carefully and try to stay inside the lines. And go around just like this. So this part's pretty easy. Just try and stay inside the lines as best you can. And I'm just turning my paper as I color because I find that that's the easiest way um, <clears throat> to color all these different sides and shapes. So as I go around the edges where the Sharpie lines are, I definitely slow down because I don't want to um, make a mistake if I can help it, although mistakes totally happen, don't they? I make them all the time. Everybody does. Okay, so just coloring in my shamrock and you can color your shamrock any shade of green you want. Um, just up to you. And of course we're coloring shamrocks because it's the month of March. It has to do with St. Patrick's Day and leprechauns and all that good stuff and um, they talk about four leaf clover which is another name for a shamrock they're kind of interchangeable clover shamrock um, in Ireland they call them shamrocks um, we call them clovers and so they say if you find a four leaf clover it's lucky and so I have never found a four leaf clover but I hear that people say they exist so Guess you just have to get busy looking in your lawn, seeing if you can find any of that clover, a four leaf clover, anyway. Okay. I'm telling you guys, I was, the other day I was coloring a picture with my students and noticed that some of my crayons, man, they're totally running out, like, like green and a few of the other colors. So I had to get some new, new ones. Because some of the colors we used a lot this year, like blue, we've done lots of sky um, backgrounds, and green, of course. We use a lot of green for grass and trees and leaves and whatnot. So, okay, let me see if I have any white spots. I wanna make sure and get all those filled in. Make this nice and green. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get out the colors of the rainbow. So we're going to need red, orange, yellow, green. Oops, stay there. Crayons are rolling away from me. Blue and purple. Okay, so with these crayons, what we're going to do is we're going to do a pattern. So find a point to start on your page, wherever it is. So start with the first color of the rainbow. 
So red. Okay. And then I went ahead and paused the video for a second. I wanted to go grab my um, a background paper because I was getting it on the table. Okay, so red and then orange. And then yellow. So you guys know it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, right? And sometimes they talk about indigo, but we're not going to worry about that color right now. Well, that's a different shade of blue. It's nice. Oh. oh no, I forgot to put green in there. Oh, you guys, I got them backwards. Oh well, I'll fix it. Oh my goodness, I should have put green. That's what happens when I'm not concentrating. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just reverse these two for this particular um, pattern, but I'm going to get back on track. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, you could do them out of order. It doesn't matter, but still. Okay, so purple. So yes, it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, but I got the, the purple and the, uh, or the green and the blue mixed up out of order. So make sure I'm going to fix that in my next patterns, my sequence of patterns. So, okay, so I'm going to start again. So, with red. And then we're just going to go all the way around and do this pattern. Because rainbows, you know, the reason you see a lot of rainbows during St. Patrick's Day is because. They talk about leprechauns. It's something they believe, some people in um, Ireland believe in, and that leprechauns hide their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So that's where the rainbow comes into St. Patrick's Day. And so, yeah, so that's why you see a lot of rainbows. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna get back on track with the pattern. Red, orange, yellow, green. So I'm going to have one set of my pattern is not correct, but that's okay. Green, now it's blue, and then purple. So you can see where I flip the pattern back to where it needs to be. Okay, now I'll start it all over again. So it's just basically doing a rainbow pattern all the way around. Like this. So anyway, um, back to the rainbows. So they say that leprechauns hide their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So if you can find the end of the rainbow, then that's where they have their pot of gold. So I don't know. Might be worth the adventure to see if you could find the end of the rainbow. And then you would find the leprechaun's pot of gold. You never know. Okay, so then we just keep going around doing that rainbow pattern just like this. Round and round. Now that I've got my pattern back on track, oh dear, it happens when you're trying to talk and do stuff sometimes at the same time, it doesn't work so well. Okay. All right, and they also say that if you catch a leprechaun, he has to tell you where his pot of gold is. But we all know it's at the end of the rainbow, or he can grant you wishes. So since we already know that the pot of gold is in the rainbow, then maybe we should ask for wishes. What do you think? <laughs> What would you wish for if you could wish for anything you wanted? It'd be something to think about, wouldn't it? Okay, so now I'm gonna go this direction and do my rainbow pattern. Okay. And yellow. I'm 
clean. All right, so just keep going with your pattern all the way around. And blue. And purple. And if your hand ever gets tired during um, your art project, you guys know that you can always feel free to pause and come back to it later, right? So you don't have to feel like you have to get it all done. Okay. At one sitting, if you're feeling tired, you need a break. It's always possible for you to stop and come back to it. That's kind of the great thing about videos is you can control how, you know, when you want to watch them. They're always there. I don't know about you. Sometimes if you're a morning person, you can do your projects in the morning. If you're more of a later in the afternoon person, you can do them then. So it just depends. Okay, so let's see here. What is my plan here? So I think I'm going to start my rainbow pattern this direction, like this. Okay, then do some yellow, like this. good guys don't give up I know like your hand gets tired maybe my hands get tired sometimes too but it's always worth it because our artwork turns out so great and I've seen so many of your really great projects on um, seesaw when you take a picture and share them with me so I really love seeing all your projects that's really fun from Mrs. R to see all the creative stuff you guys are coming up whoops you guys are coming up with. Oopsie doodle. Man. Goodness sakes, Mrs. R. Gotta focus on what I'm doing. Okay. And let's go this way. Okay, just a couple more. Get that little spot in there. There we go. An orange. So as you get to the side here, you know, the pattern's not necessarily going to be in order, but that's okay. Okay, so take that away. And so there we're left with a very cool, very bright and colorful shamrock and rainbow picture that you can add to your collection especially since spring is coming. Um, this will be a neat picture to add to all your spring collection pictures. So let me go ahead and switch my screen here. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed doing your project with Mrs. R today. Turned out pretty fun, really colorful, our shamrock and rainbow picture. So I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with when you share it um, on Seesaw with Mrs. R. So I look forward to seeing all of your projects that you've made. And until next time, I hope you guys um, have a great week and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye everybody.